Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to backup your Cisco Switch iOS image or iOS firmware, how to delete the old or existing iOS image of your Cisco Switch, how to upgrade the Cisco Switch iOS or firmware on latest version and finally I will show you how to downgrade or install the old iOS firmware of Cisco Switch from the backup file and we do this all with the help of TFTP server. This step will work with many different Cisco Switch models but the specific hardware I am going to use in this video is Cisco 3750 switch. To do this activity you must have these two things first. First is the new or latest iOS version of your switch. The second thing is TFTP server to upload or download the iOS to Cisco switch. You can download the new or latest iOS image from Cisco website very easily and here you can see I already downloaded the latest iOS version of my Cisco 3750 switch that is 12255se12.bin and I put this new iOS in a folder named Cisco iOS on my desktop. The TFTP server I am going to use in this video is TFTP D64. It's a free software to download and I leave the link in the video description. I already installed this TFTP server in my PC and now I run the TFTP server in my PC and here is it. Now the most important step is we have to establish physical and logical connectivity between our laptop and our Cisco switch. I already power on my Cisco switch and now going to log in via PuTTY with the help of console cable. To see the switch current configuration I go to enable mode first and then I type show run and here you can see there is no old configuration it's a blank switch and if I use command show VLAN enter and here you can see all ports are belong to default VLAN that is VLAN 1. So first we will do the physical connectivity. I am going to connect my PC LAN card with this Ethernet UTP cable and the second end of cable I connect to any port of the switch like port 7 here. This is physical connectivity and now it's time for logical connectivity. I have to assign an IP address to my PC LAN card first. For that I go to LAN card properties and assign any IP address like 192.168.2.25 and subnet is 255.255.255. .255 0. You can use any IP range but you should use same series of IP in your switch also. Now it's time to assign the IP address to my switch default VLAN. For that I go to my switch and then I go to global config mode with command config T and here I type interface VLAN 1 and enter. Here I assign the IP address to this VLAN. I type IP address 192.168. The 2 dot 20 and subnet is 255.255.255.0. This is the same range IP address that I assigned to my PC LAN card and exit. To save this setting, I type copy running config startup config. To verify the connectivity, I ping my PC IP address from my switch. For that, I type ping. 192.168.2.25 this is my PC IP address and enter and here you can see I can ping my PC from my switch successfully and now I try to ping my switch IP from my laptop for that I go back to my laptop and open command prompt and type ping 192.168.2.20 and enter and you can see we can ping our switch also from our PC. Now it's time to set the TFTP server. I open TFTP server and in TFTP server we have to set the two basic parameters current directory and server interface. For current directory I click on browse and here I select a folder that I use as source or as destination folder while upgrading or downgrading the switch iOS firmware. I select this folder named Cisco iOS on my desktop. 
This folder also contains the new or latest iOS image of my Cisco 3750 switch. The second parameter is server interface. Here I click on this arrow and select the LAN interface that connected to my switch with IP address 192.168.2.25. This one. And that's it for TFTP server. And now I go back to switch again. Before to do anything, to see the current iOS version of the switch, I type show flash, enter. And here you can see current iOS or firmware of the switch is 122-35.se5. Also here you can see the free space in switch memory is 8.8 MB. And if we check the size of new iOS or latest iOS version in our folder, that is 11.5 MB. So it's mean there is no enough free space to upload the new iOS in this switch. So first I have to create the free space in this switch for new iOS. So for that I have to delete the old iOS version first and then upload the new iOS version. But before deleting the old iOS image, I have to take the backup of existing iOS firmware into my PC. Because in case after update the new iOS version in this switch, by chance if that firmware not work properly, then still I have the old iOS firmware as a backup and I can restore my switch iOS back as before. To take backup of current iOS version, first I need to copy the name of current iOS version here. And then I type copy flash tftp. The meaning of this command means we are going to copy from our flash to our tftp server and enter. Now first it asks the file name that I want to copy from switch flash. So I paste the copied iOS version name here that I copy before and then press enter. Now it asks to provide the destination device IP address on which we are going to store this current iOS firmware as a backup. Here I provide my PC IP address that is 192.168.2.25 and enter. Now at last he asks what name you want to give this file or iOS version on destination folder. I paste as it is the copied iOS version name again and press enter. Now here you can see process is started to backup the iOS firmware from switch to my PC via TFTP server. Also here you can see in TFTP server data is transferring plus in destination folder the file is showing now but the size is 0 KB. When backup is completed we can see the actual size of the file here also. It takes some seconds or a minute to complete the iOS backup process and here you can see the backup process is completed. And here you can see iOS version file size is 7 MB now. So we successfully backup the switch old or existing iOS in our switch via TFTP server. Now to upgrade to new iOS version, first we need to delete the existing or old iOS to create space in our switch memory. To delete the old iOS from Cisco switch, first we go to flash memory of the switch by using command show flash and enter. And here you can see the current space in switch flash memory is 8.8 MB. And now from here I need to copy the name of file that I want to delete. I like to delete this old iOS version. So I copy the name of this file. Then I type delete flash column double slash and here I give the file name that I want to delete. I paste the file name and press enter and enter again and confirm. It take couple of seconds and will accept the command. Here you can see command is accepted and to verify that we successfully delete the file or no, we go back to flash memory again and type show flash and enter and here you can see old iOS version file is deleted and the free space in switch flash memory is 15.9 MB now. Before it was 8.8 MB. Now currently this switch don't have any iOS firmware and we have enough free space in our switch flash memory to upload or upgrade the new iOS firmware version to this switch. To upload the new iOS firmware, first 
I need to copy the name of new OS version from my folder. Don't forget to copy the .bin extension also, otherwise it won't work. Now I have to upload this file. I go to my switch. This time I want to copy from my TFTP server to my switch flash memory. For that I type copy TFTP flash and enter. Now it asks the source IP address or my TFTP server IP address. So I type 192.168.2.25 and enter. Now it asks the name of the file that need to upload it in switch. So I paste the new IS firmware name here that I copied before from source folder and then press enter. Now it asks to save file in switch flash memory with which name. I keep default like new iOS version name and press enter. And here you can see uploading is started via VLAN 1. It takes couple of minutes to be completed. Also on TFTP server you can see data is transferring and you can see the progress percentage also. I will wait until progress not complete 100%. I am going to fast forward this video to save your time and will resume again when file transfer completed. Okay, here you can see file transfer is completed. Now to verify that new iOS firmware upgrade successfully or no, I use command show flash and here you can see new iOS uploaded successfully in switch flash memory. Now to save this setting, I use command copy running config startup config and enter and enter again. So we successfully upgraded the Cisco switch iOS firmware also. Now in last to downgrade or install the old iOS of Cisco switch from our backup file is just like as the same to upload the new firmware. You just need to copy the name of the old firmware or backup file only. The process is same like upgrading to new firmware. So that's why I'm not going to make video on that. Now I'm going to restart the switch with command reload and enter. And now my switch is booting and it takes couple of minutes. To save your time, I'm going to fast forward this video and will resume when switch completed the booting process. Here you can see our switch is almost rebooted and now I type command enable and then I type show flash and here you can see this time switch boot with new iOS firmware version that is 122-55.se12.bin. So that's it for today and thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.